can't wait for Pop News right now with Janae. It's time for Pop News, guys. Happy Monday, everybody. And we are starting with a star-studded birthday bash for Jennifer Aniston. Can you believe she is 50? Wow. Of course she doesn't look it. She celebrated at the Sunset Tower Hotel in L.A. on Saturday. There she is, front and center in the photo booth with Courtney Cox, Katy Perry, Orlando Bloom, some other friends. And here's some more pictures. Her with Gwyneth Paltrow, oh, Kate oh, Hudson, this adorable oh, gift. They're so cute. Oh. Gwyneth taking to Instagram, toasting Anderson, writing happy birthday to Jennifer Anderson, our ray of sunshine, example of perpetual goodness. We love you so much, and you make 50 look fire emoji. <laughs> so happy <laughs> done. Star-studded event. Also in attendance, George and Amal Clooney, Reese Witherspoon. How about this blast from the past? Brad Pitt. Ooh. Yeah. And reports say after debating with her closest friends, Anderson decided to invite her former husband. Yeah. So. But she wanted people who've been very instrumental in her life. Absolutely, a celebration of her life. And she says she doesn't look at her divorces as failures. She nope, thinks they're success. very successful. So good yeah, for her. So good for her. Right who you want. <laughs> Academy and Film and Television Arts Awards, or the BAFTAs. They were celebrated in London on Sunday. It's like the British version of the Oscars. Prince William, Princess Kate set the tone. Kate in this gorgeous one-shoulder McQueen gown. Inside, the bigger winner of the night was the favorite with seven awards, Olivia Ooh, Coleman taking go. home Best Actress. Mm -hmm. Another winner, Rami Malek. He nabbed Best Actor for Bohemian Rhapsody. But it was Alfonso Cuaron who took home the top awards for Best Director and Best Film for Roma. Meanwhile, Bradley Cooper, he was noticeably absent from the Grammys last night. That's because he was there across the pond where his film, A Star is Born, was nominated for seven awards. He wasn't the only one. Taylor Swift who is rarely photographed with her boyfriend here, Joe Alwyn, but she was there at the BAFTAs with him, who stars in The Favorite. Mm -hmm. So, oh. he was absent. Yeah, yeah. noticeably absent last night, but was there. Yeah. And finally, this is a good way to start a Monday. Okay. Disney released its new trailer for the live action Aladdin during the Grammys last night, and the highlight, check this out, we get to see Will Smith all decked out in blue as the genie for the first time. Take a look. You really don't know who I am. Genie, wishes, lamp, none of that ringing a bell. Looks like he's bulged up. That's not the little different kind of genie. It has been 27 years since the first animated Aladdin. Now Smith taking on the famous role by Robin Williams as the all-powerful genie. Someone posted on Twitter where Will Smith also shared that writing. Glad they filled Robin Williams' shoes very well. This gonna be lit. It will be in theaters on May 24th. So something to look forward to. <laughs> Hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.